never had a piece of paper put in front of you by a foreign office lawyer that says that Israel is in breach of its international humanitarian commitments under international humanitarian law? Um, look, I, 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 the reason for not answering this question, I can't recall every single bit of paper that's been put in front of me. I, see, I look at everything. I mean, of course, there are lots of things that have happened where you think, well, surely that, is, that was something that shouldn't have happened. And, uh, and so I don't want to answer that question because Forgive I... Forgive me, in 2013, you were quite happy to say from the dispatch box that war crimes had been committed by the Assad regime when it came to chemical weapons use. And two years later, you were happy to say that Hamas had committed a war crime when they shot rockets into <coughs> Israel. Well, I do think there's a difference between, you know, using chemical weapons to kill people and Israel fighting a, a conflict where they're trying to deal with a, a terrorist force that inflicted an appalling attack on it's their country. It's a difference country. in setting or specifics or scale, but not in principle, which was your willingness and ability to determine whether or not international <coughs> law had been broken. 